Hello guys, and welcome to episode 28 of my Orsha campaign in Stone Division 2, playing on the Axis side. Today we're on the offense once again, after defending against the 26th Guards Tank Brigade on this bottom side, and also the IS-2s in the center. We managed to win both of them. The one against the 26th Guards Tank Brigade actually looked like it was going to be a loss, but at the end it switched to a victory, I think because we held more flags than they did. So... We ended up absolutely beating that tank brigade to a pulp. There's barely anything left there. But now our opportunities are going to be against the AAA here for the most part, as well as a push through onto these units. So let's go ahead and deal with these AAA regiments. This one I can probably take out. It looks like we can actually use the 256 Fusilier Battalion, so I'm probably going to do that rather than using up the action points on the 1st Battalion of the 11th. the I think the Fusilier Battalion will have some action points left, like at least one, because it uses three to attack in Phase A, and then it will have one left because it's recon. So let's order resolve with that. We'll see what happens. Oh, they actually went miles away. Okay. I thought they would get trapped, but never mind. Okay, that's all right. Well, this regiment or battalion can probably just move back and then we'll just shift our other units into position. So I'm going to move up here and we're going to dig in with that one. I'm going to move this back for the time being. And if I can, I should probably fill that gap. Although I don't want to leave myself in a position where the 94th Guard Sapper Battalion can attack us next turn. So do I have any artillery? No, nothing that can take away those action points hmm all right well we should be okay I think maybe I could just move up some of my infantry here so that it can reinforce if needs be I guess I could always just wait or actually better than that maybe we could attack the 94th guard sapper battalion this turn what would that bring in though? Let's have a look. It would bring in the 36th Guards Rifle Corps and the 317th Guards Mortar Regiment. Hmm. Do these guys have trucks? They do. Okay, so they have transports. That's good. That could work. If we bring in our close support group, the JU-87s, or close support wing... We could certainly destroy a lot of these Kachushas and Drushas, all that good stuff, if they reinforce with those units. That seems like a pretty good idea. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so we will add those, and I'll also select another unit to follow up. Maybe the 2nd Battalion of the 11th Infantry Regiment. Actually, no, I'll probably want to slip them into here, so I'm not going to use the action points on those. Let's use this one nearby. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in the close support wing. All right. Let's see what they bring. Uh, they are going to bring in the two battalions we suspected. That's good. All right, let's uh, launch ourselves in. I think this might be a conquest battle, potentially. If it's breakthrough, then that's fine. But yeah, it's conquest. Okay. So this is good because what it's going to allow me to do is like push up to the halfway and then just bring an aircraft to just camp the spawns and just destroy all of the Andrushas and Katyushas that come in. Uh, the other good thing about this is that we're going to be engaging them from range, and most of their troops are like Sapari, which are good at close range. So we'll just have like a couple of grenadiers on each road again. Just going to have to be careful of them like rushing us in a particular position, because they could overwhelm my forces still. All right, so we'll just put a couple there. I might play just a bit defensively here. Up on here, we'll go and jump in the windmill there actually let's go into there that's fine I'll have one go up on the hill and one there 
We should also use the MGs actually. Maybe I could put the MG into the windmill. And then put the two grenadiers into these buildings. There we go. Alright, in this side we're just going to do that. I'm going to put one there. Maybe put one there. Just play that defensively. We'll get a couple to go up on top of here, and maybe I could get my other MGs to go up there. We've got one MG there. I do actually have an IG. How many IGs do we have? We've got two of them. Maybe an IG would be good up here. And maybe we could put an IG on the right-hand side as well, like on this hill. Okay, that's fine. Uh, these guys are going to have to just go in the building and on the left-hand side, I think. And then uh, we should have a couple more grenadiers left. There we go. There's a couple more there. They can fill in the gap. And then the rest of our troops, or the rest of our points, can go towards our planes. We'll bring in the recon aircraft, and I'll also bring in a JU-87 D5. Uh, let's spend two more points on infantry see where are we thin on the ground I think the right side is absolutely fine so I think I'm probably gonna bring in another unit on the left we do actually have an IG 33 so let's use that that should do a plenty of damage yeah, if I could get it into the edge of there that would be fantastic all right that'll do uh, let's launch the battle actually let's just spend one more point reason being is that the first tick will then allow me to bring in a strafing thing regardless I guess we could maybe Bring a Grenfjordo with the IG because it's got a relatively low rate of fire. Okay, let's launch. Off we go with our recon. They don't have any aircraft. I don't think they have any anti-air either, so... This should be a turkey shoot for the JU-87s. Just got to spot those Katyushas and Drushas, all that good stuff, and just wreck them. I mean, honestly, I could get the uh, JU-7 recon to strafe some of this unit. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Damn, that's a lot of units there. Oh, that's uh, Dushka. Let's unload those, unload that up there. Okay. I don't think there's any Katyushas yet, or is that one there? Yeah, that's one. Take that out. And just as I say. <laughs> Let's uh, go ahead and bring in another strafing run uh, we can probably take out the Dushkas okay they're using mostly Sapali PPSH which is really good for us because they're very weak so they my machine guns should be able to kill them quite easily but I am going to have to try and take care of the uh, Resvedka there but I think my IG is going to be firing at I don't know either way I'm just hoping we killed that Katusha let's go have a look Right, we'll take out that uh, Dushka there. And um, we need to move the IG forwards. Those guys can come into cover. Alright, there's another one. Uh, I need to make sure I kill that. Just going to have that recon fly around on the right hand side, and we'll have a new one come in on the left. I'm just going to pop that Jeep if we can see it. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to hit the mark. Let's just uh, fire at the Sapari instead. Maybe I can get a shot onto the Dushka there. With the recon aircraft, that might do the trick. But for now, let's just yeah strafe the infantry there. I'll probably bring in some bombers at some point. Or another... And the Russia. Let's go ahead and hit that. Uh, 
Okay, what's the IG firing at? Is it hitting the Dushka? Yeah, the WC-52 gonna get wrecked. <laughs> Damn. Alright, let's uh, pop that one if we can. How do you not have tight onto that? Really? <laughs> okay. Surprising me there, the air recon failing us. Ooh, nice damage coming in from the J87. Let's go hit that Andrusha there that's coming in. We lost the unit of Grenadiers. That was on the right-hand side. Uh, let's get some more units on this right-hand side because I do feel we're a little bit light. And we're bringing an MG there as well. Unfortunately, these MGs don't have the 1,500 meter range, which sucks. There we go. Killed that before it fired. Didn't manage to kill that, unfortunately. Alright, this IG. Probably doing good work. If we can get it over to the right-hand side, it will be able to fire down onto these Sapelli, which will be good. Perfect. Alright, there goes another Andorusha. And we're going to have to bring in probably just another gun runner for now. Just because the other ones that I have have run out of fuel. Let's unload these. Back move forwards. We'll have the MG further back. Cool. I uh, managed to kill that Dushka there. There's another one there, but we're not going to be able to see it. I didn't quite get that kill. Alright, let's hit that Rosvedka. Just to get rid of that. So that my Grenadiers can stay alive. And we'll move the J87 from right to left. That's 4 minutes and 30 seconds till phase B. I would like to speed up the game, but I'm a little wary that if I do, I will lose perspective across the map and I'll end up losing units unnecessarily. Okay, that should do the trick there. Ooh, that's not good. That is not good. Say goodbye to the Grenadiers, guys. They are goners. Couple more direct hits. And those squads are dead. Looks like thankfully those were off target a little bit. Uh, let's have that one just run back to spawn. That's the Rosvitka taken care of. Katusha over there. Uh, I need another recon if I have one. I don't think I do though. I'm right, just bringing another Ju87 gun runner for now. Then the only way we're going to be able to spot the Katusha and Andrushas before they fire is if I have a Ju87 recon in the sky. If we don't have the recon, the best bet would be to buy bombers so that we can bomb them after we see them fire. But I'd rather kill them before they fire. We can make a little bit of an offensive play at some point where I start attack moving my grenadiers forwards. Because ultimately we do have the advantage in this game. Like our regiment's just like so much stronger. Our battalion, our grand battalion. And we also have like the reinforcements coming in in phase C as well. So that's all good. Right, let's uh, kill off the Santarusha. Then we've got to hope that the other recon JU87 sorts itself out sooner than later. Because this is where the fun begins, guys. Alright, so I push these across the open. We'll have the IG move up. I lost no Blitz there. Oops. That would be because there's a Perry turned up. I managed to sneak in. <laughs> Rather rude. I'm actually going to have this unit fall back and we'll have some replacements come in on that right hand side. 
So for now, I think I'll just have the J87's target units that we can see with our infantry. So for example, the Resvitka and the Dushka on this left side. Or right side, sorry. I'm going to make a little push up here and a little push up the middle. I might try and go for this objective as well up here. A little bit risky because there is quite a lot of Sapelli there, but at some point we will have bombers online. So I can bomb them with the 500 kilogram bombs and that will delete infantry units nice and easy. Oh, there we go, Tishka's dead. That's great. It's going to give us that flag actually. Push us into the lead. Does this not have line of sight across? Maybe if I put it here. Just give it an attack order across the edge of the tree line. Maybe it can find more line of sight. Uh, we did manage to pin down the Rosvitka there, which is good. I think that's another unit. Another rocket unit. Uh, let's bring up uh, some Alcala to the center. Ooh, that's not good. Ouch. Goodbye, IG. Right, time to blow that up. See, this is what I have to do now. Like, is use the bomber to take out the take out the rocket planes because we can't. Like, I can't. I guess I can fire position in the J87s, but it's not as accurate or more. I would say it's not as likely to kill, I would say is the best way to put it. Oh, this should be a nice bombing strike onto the Sepali anyway. Uh, I'm going to have to bring in a J87 to strafe that right hand side. Maybe I can push across here. Alright, that's uh, pinned down a lot of those parry. We did quite a lot of damage there as well. Fantastic, those Rosvedka aren't doing too good. These Grenadiers have found their way up, which is nice. I don't know if we're going to be able to kill that Dushka easy enough. I'm hoping so. Alright, let's uh, try and push up with this IG. We're making ground through there. Bring in my other Draven aircraft and we'll start hitting some more of these squads. The so slow and steady wins the race, and uh, yeah, so far so good. If it's just a party there, then we should be okay. My grenadier died on the top there. That was the the Dushka, the WC52 Dushka. Ooh, okay. What's that hitting? Ouch. Goodbye, Grenadiers. I tried to save you, I swear. I tried. I am. Alright, let's uh, move up these Grenadiers. I'm surprised these can't fire. Bring in another bomber here. Finish off these units. Right, and there's that gone as well. Right, let's bring my recon back in. And I guess I may as well push up on this left side as well. Get the Grenfjord up there. Got that. Great. Well, the Afkra survived, surprisingly. We are in phase B, so still no new infantry, but I think I have maybe a couple more to bring in for the time being. Ooh, nice bombing strike again. If there's any units that are low on men, we can probably kill them. We did a little bit of damage. Let's take out the resupply. We'll take out the Dushka. Right, 
Okay, cool. We actually haven't seen uh, that many Catchers and Androsas yet. So, I guess that's kind of a good thing. That kind of did need to go back. Now these two push up. That one can continue through the middle. May as well have that one run back to base. Just preserve the infantry where we can. I'm probably going to bomb that Sapari since they're in a hard position to get to there with our machine guns and also the cannons. Yeah, we'll just bomb that Sapari squad and I'm going to hit this Katyusha. Alright, uh, we're here on the right hand side with quite a lot of men. Let's push the grenadiers alongside the Grenfjörder into these trees and take out those Resvedka there. That's the plan. I'm going to bomb those Separdi as well. Any other infantry squads I want to bomb? Maybe that one. Okay, good. In those down. Resvedka on the right hand side coming under a beating. Let's get the J87 to take out the Katyusha. Okay, good. Let's uh, go for the flag here. And um, we're going to go the, for the flag down the hill shortly. I'll move up the IG once the Grenadiers get there. Right, what did I lose? I lost a grenadier somewhere. Bit of an oopsie. Alright, we killed that Dushka. Nice. Uh, oh, the grenadiers on the left side died. Okay. Well, we're going to kill those Sapelli anyway. Oh, they didn't die? Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll have to finish them off the recon J87. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's unlucky. Normally the 500 kilogram bombs always one-shot stuff. Oh, we're getting a bit close here to the Sapelli. Not good. Oh, those ones died. Ah, that's annoying. They finished them off. Right, where's my other recon? There it is. Uh, let's go take out that Katusha. I guess we can probably come across and hit that. Uh, so let's just have the JOE7s push forwards. I'll right, move the IGs up now. So that people are pinned down. Cool. Right, that saved us there. Let's just uh, attack this. Oh, never mind. Uh, it's starting to bring in the Andrushas and Katrushas more now. I might just want to bomb this. They get in the building there. Uh, we're kind of screwed. Those grenadiers are going to get killed very quickly. Oh, the IG died. No way. Oh, that's annoying. I guess uh, it died just before we pinned them. Try and get across the open there. For two minutes and 50 seconds till face C, then we get an abundance of extra infantry. How did I not get the double kill there? Come on. Come on, Jay Wade. I mean, you can do better than that. You can do better than that. Uh, we're going to have to hit these two so the Grenadiers can push out. Oh, those Grenadiers managed to make it away. I'm hoping if I bomb these, we'll kill the Razvodka. Uh, I'm probably going to have to try and hit that as soon as possible. Okay. can bring in more bombers, so I may as well. Alright, 
Right, what's that firing at? Maybe my grenadiers and pioneers here? Well, they're dead. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. <laughs> yep, they're gone. <laughs> they are goners. I could use my mortars, I guess, but I think I've got my hands full at the moment with my aircraft anyway, so... Let's just make sure we buy the rest of these and give them targets. I'll let those two drop their bombs and then we'll bring out the other ones. Alright, cool. That grenadiers are gone. Uh, maybe we have these grenadiers come over. There's only 45 seconds till phase C, and then we can just back ourselves up wherever we need to. I'm surprised the amount of infantry that they had, but we are starting to whittle it down now, and that's why they're bringing in so many of these Katyushas and Andorushas at the same time. All right, that's uh, Razvedka. Did take the damage, but they're still alive. Oh, we just managed to kill them there. That was lucky. My, my. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get the Grenadiers to run up then. Uh, these ones here that are full strength, and they can take that point for us. And those Pioneers need to get into cover. All right, those guys are dead. Or not. <laughs> I think it's because I gave them an attack order just behind. I didn't actually hit them directly, which is yeah, a bit tragic. Anyway, uh, let's bring in the gun run to go and take out those Katyushas for us. And I'm going to need extra infantry now in order to push up this left side. So let's bring those in. Okay, cool. And it's just a matter of getting more bombers. Having them fly about. And then we can just give them targets when we spot stuff. Like that, for example. Right, anything else? I guess we could maybe target the jeep there. I might have to bomb that one twice, so we'll go for that as well. Hmm. Right, there we go, that one's gone. Fantastic. Right, looks like the rockets didn't quite hit the mark. Perfect. And it's going to be a total defeat in 20 seconds. Let's just speed it up. Unload these lots, so they don't die necessarily, and job done. Okay, 21 minutes, 50 seconds, happy with that. Now, what did we end up losing? We actually lost quite a lot of Grenadiers throughout that, and the uh, IGs there. But, yeah, a decent attack to make, 100%. Glad I did that. That's going to stop that HQ from doing anything because it got destroyed okay I was gonna say it's gonna stop that from attacking because it'd be routed but yeah they just blew up they gone us all right this one can actually attack us which is a bit of a pain uh, both of these regiments could be in trouble next turn but uh, we're gonna move up regardless and uh, so kind of just fill up this position There we go. And this one needs to move up as well. Brilliant. Gonna have to move up the artillery. Nice. All right, the other thing we need to do now is attack this routed AA in the center. We can do it with the 178th or the 1st Battalion of the 195th. Hmm, probably the Pioneers would be better. 
Yeah, let's do it with the pioneers. So nothing in A, just double check in. Well, these can arrive in C all the way up here. Wow. All right, we'll auto resolve that. Cool. That's going to remove action points from the first battalion of the twelfth guards, uh, which means that there isn't much here that can attack. These guys can though, the twelfth guards rifle regiment. So we're going to have to make sure this can be reinforced. Let's move forward to the 195th Assault Regiment HQ. And I might also move up the 78th Assault Division, but maybe not actually, because if I move anywhere, it's going to use up two action points on the highway, which isn't good. Ah, oh, let's just do it, because then they'll have uh, three next turn anyway. It doesn't matter. Okay, uh, this artillery, is there anything we can bombard with that? Maybe we could hit the 2nd Battalion of the 27th Guards. That would remove an opportunity for them to attack. Uh, there is the routed unit there. What about this one? Can we attack this one? No. Okay. Well, the only other attack that we've got to make is against the order and first self-propelled artillery regiment and the first battalion of the 243rd guard rifle regiment these guys are really weak so we should be able to just plow through here especially with the uh, tigers joining us in phase b i could also use some air force like what would be brought in here if we attacked so those would be c b b c okay so these are fine not really much AT here except from the 45 mils, 45 mils, 45 mils. So no Zist 2s, which is nice. Uh, there's none in there, and this doesn't have any AT at all. If we attacked that, we could probably win in phase A, though. Maybe? How many units are left? Hmm. Do I push that for phase A or do we just play like a lake, like a slow game with the heavy panzer battalion? The other thing I've got to look at is this. They have the 274th fighter regiment here. I'm not sure if they are supposed to be an in intercept, but normally it would have the circle around it if they were. I can barely see because the icon is is covering over my own. Hmm. All right, oh, I definitely want to do this attack. It's just which regiment we attack. It's a shame we can't initiate with the 501st because I'd love to just have the Tigers just rampage through the 401st self-propelled artillery. Now we're going to have to do it on the top side, which is better as well because we'll cut them off at the bridge. So let's see what we can bring in. Now I do have 45 points to spend, since I didn't spend any last time. Which would actually allow us to bring in the 4th Bomber Wing. I guess maybe we could do that. We could just like carpet bomb them to death. That'd be quite amusing. So I don't think we're going to need the bombers anywhere else. I might need the Night Bomber group if we get attacked somewhere in the middle. Uh, there is still some tanks there. There's also the 4th Guards Tank Brigade here. Yeah, if the 12th Guards Rifle Regiment attacks the 178th Pioneer Battalion, then they're probably going to bring in the 4th Guards behind them. So in which case I'm going to need the uh, bombers, the night, the night Bomber Group. The other thing we could do is just bring like one of the Recon Groups that would allow us to... Um, get the extra points in phase A without having to commit another regiment. Just double check. Like, So these come in B. We could actually bombard those so they can't come in in B. I'm tempted to hit the 3rd Battalion of the 75th Guards Rifle Regiment, honestly. Maybe those two at the back there. If we stop both of these coming in to this battle, then I'm pretty sure I'm just happy to do it anyway. So let's bombard this one. And we'll bombard this one. I'm 
happy for them to bring in the 3rd Battalion on the 46th, I think. Although I might be able to hit them with a bombardment. If I can, then that would be good, but we can't. Okay, so that's good. Uh, what else can we attack with that bombardment? Maybe one of these, maybe the 1st Battalion of the 169th Guards Rifle Regiment. Although since these guys can initiate anyway, there's not really much point in hitting them because they'll still be able to come in phase B. Although that would stop them coming in phase A. We'll do that. Okay. Alright, let's choose the bombers. I'm going to bring in the bomber wing. Let's do it. <laughs> it would be hilarious. Complete overkill. I'm not sure if these are intercepting. It doesn't look like they are. We will click to prepare battle. We'll bring in the 2nd Battalion of the 119th, the 501st Heavy Panzer Battalion, and the bombers. The big old bombers. And we are going to tactical battle. And they got intercepted. Yep, they are on intercept. That's annoying. Oh, but we beat them. <laughs> okay, interesting. <laughs> it's like we lost one bomber, <laughs> but they lost... One of their fighters. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the one across the river is actually coming in to uh, reinforce in phase C. Hmm. Not sure what that consists of. I should have looked at that. All right. Well, we're going to jump on in regardless and uh, get this done. So the SU-85s, they're not actually going to be much of a threat at max range. It's when they like attack us at close range that it will be a problem. So we just got to spot them, and then we can bring in the Tigers behind. I mean, in Phase A, uh, we're just going to have so much bomber superiority. This is going to be nasty. Absolutely nasty. It just guards Rifle Regiment, right? So we can just bring in Panzergrands. And uh, take these buildings nice and easy. I'm going to put two up here and two down here. Okay. Uh, these ones, tempted to put one in the tower of the church, but that never ends well. <laughs> we'll put a couple squads up here. We don't have to deal with the SUs in phase A. So we don't have to worry about attacking them from range. I'm just going to kind of set up defensively so we can just chew up the 243rd Guards Rifle Regiment whilst they push towards us. And then I'm going to bring in our Tigers and we'll have a big old battle with their uh, tank destroyers. Cool. Alright, this should be a fun battle actually. Right, that's the majority of my infantry down. I just need to kind of reinforce wherever. I think I might actually bring up the MGs, like the MG42s. Uh, might not be a bad idea at all in this uh, case at the start. They have plenty of range. So yeah, we'll just bring them up to support along across the board. Bring up a couple on this left side. Cool. Let's do that and we'll bring in like a couple bombers. Uh, which bombers should we bring? Uh, those don't actually have bombs. <laughs> okay, that's useful. Um, I guess 1,000 kilogram bombs would be better than eight 250s against like infantry squads. Yeah, so we'll bring in like those two. Let's launch. The only trouble with the two 1,000 kilogram bombs is that they take ages to reload. We'll just speed it up, and as soon as we see like any convoys or anything, we can just bomb them. There's one. Although that's just a jeep on its own. So I'm not sure I want to actually bomb that. Anything to bomb yet. 
Anything? Nope. Anything to bomb? <laughs> there's definitely dudes here. Oh, there's one. There's a good convoy. We can start smashing to pieces. Uh, may as well bomb that Gavardia as well. Ooh, here we go. Bomb that Gavardia there. Right, unload those. Well, let's have a look at how much damage this does. Oh, that's a bit off target. No. Oh, that's annoying. Well, we'll bring over this one and maybe we can kill them as well with those. Right, they do have some SGs. And bomb that. I think MGs are just straight up better than SGs though, so <laughs> should be fine. Right, this one's coming across. Hopefully we don't lose line of sight before we drop the bombs, otherwise the bombs will be like miles off target. Yeah, that's annoying. Okay, well, I guess we could continue pushing, but I don't want to, like, finish this too early. I do want to let them bring in their SU-85s. So we'll just speed it up. That one's run out of fuel. <laughs> Looking for a target. It's quite funny. Yeah, we'll let them push onto us, and then, um, yeah, we'll just uh, deal with stuff in phase B. There we go, we're doing plenty of damage, as you can see. I'm bringing another bomber there, just to hit those lot. Oh boy, there's quite a lot of them there. This is going to sting. Bombs away, boys. Eight two fifty kilogram bombs. Ooh, nasty! That was a great strike. That was a really good strike. Yeah, these MGs were a great choice. They are smashing them in the open here. Bringing up a couple more on this right-hand side. I probably don't want to push up that far because I don't want to capture that point. Ooh, there's quite a lot on the left here. I bomb those. Oh, why did I buy that? <laughs> That's the one without without bomb load. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> why are they marked as bombers when they have no bombs? Here we go. Bombs away. Ooh, this is going to hit them hard as well. They're all lined up. Yep. Very nice bombing strike. Very nice indeed. I will have both of these MGs move to the edge of the trees there. And I might actually have an Alphclader come join them so that they can get their targets arranged. Same deal on this right hand side. Just in case we can't spot any of the infantry in the open for whatever reason. I think Recon in general is like good at spotting infantry out in the open. Like from range, but then the, the only other place where recon is useful after that is at close range, which is interesting. It's the way it works. Oh, this one doesn't have bombs, does it? The one without bombs? Oh no, this one does have bombs. It does have the two 1,000 kilogram bombs. Definitely has bombs. <laughs> Very big bombs. Uh, there was uh, a bunch of troops down here. I'm probably just going to bomb that area. Uh, there was loads coming through the trees, so I think they're still in the light cover there. Just going to drop those on them. There we go, yeah, there was. <laughs> oh, nasty. <laughs> oh, imagine having a 1,000 kilogram bomb dropped on your head. That wouldn't wouldn't, wouldn't uh, really be very nice, would it? <laughs> Leave a bit of a mark. Okay, 40 seconds till phase B. And then the Tigers arrive.
Okay. Right, so we'll have a Tiger Battalion or Tiger Company up on the hill. We'll have a Tiger Company in the mid. And we'll have a Tiger Company. I was thinking on the left hand side, but I don't think I really need them there. So we'll just bring it in here. Oh, I don't have enough points to buy them all. That would have been cool if we could have had all three companies online straight away. Okay, now we just need to kind of like spot where the SU-85s are and uh, pop them when we see them. I can also bomb them, so we'll do that as well. Bunch more troops coming in. Yeah, any SU-85s we spot on the left-hand side, I'm probably just going to kill uh, with either these pack 40s I'm just bringing in, or the bombers. One of the two. Oh, is that the infantry that's accompanying the SU-85s? I'm guessing it is. Oh no, it's the 1st Battalion of the 243rd Guards Rifle Regiment. Wait, no, never mind. Yeah, it just tells us all of them on each each card. Never mind. Yeah, so it's kind of like the just showing the long name of all the different battalions involved. Ooh, that poor T-34-76 Resvedica. He took a wrong turn. Like, hey, couple tigers here. How you doing? Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> Alright, beautiful. Imagine just like seeing a tank, like Tiger Battalion or company just rolling in in the distance and you'd just be like shit in your pants. Oh boy. Alright, let's uh, push forwards with some infantry towards this point. That will reveal their infantry and then our tanks can just open up. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. Taking up position on the edge of the hill here. Oh man. So menacing. Okay, we'll do the same up here. I'm gonna move up my Panzergrens and uh, yeah, all of these ones. We'll just have push to the edge with the leader one behind. Great. Move these Panzergrens forwards. Very good. Oh, that sniper. So many shots coming its way. <laughs> Nasty. We actually haven't seen any of the SU-85s yet. A little bit worried about that. Don't want them to, like, ambush me. Keep buying more of these. We've got so many bombers. I could just like carpet bomb this entire area. Just give it a good guess and just blast them to pieces. This is what we like to see, isn't it? <laughs> Bomber formation incoming. Bombs away. If there was anything there, it's probably dead. Alright, let's uh, start pushing up through the town. And we'll start pushing up here as well. Needs to leave. Oh, that's a bailed out SU-85. Good. Keep moving up with our infantry and stuff here. Damn, this infantry is just getting annihilated. Like trying to run away. But it's just getting wrecked. And there is some Resvetka there I'm going to have to be careful about. 
Right, let's unload these and uh, push them up. See about getting into the church there, maybe. Well, these Avtos, actually, they're going to do a lot of damage if they get into range of my Panzergrunts. So we'll have the Panzergrunts do a runner. Oh, maybe not. We'll, we'll start chasing them again since they're all pinned down. <laughs> or actually, maybe not. We'll just uh, bomb them. We'll just hit them with this bomber. Oh, that's the bomber without bombs. Oh, debated. God damn. All right, let's uh, throw a couple bombs in there. Oh, that's so annoying. Just keep pushing up where we can. Take these points. Take that point. Good. Alright, so the plan here is to be clearing out the trees in front. I think we're just bombing all of this area, right? Yeah. If there was any infantry there, it's now dead. And then SG. Wished it never showed itself. Good. All of the tigers. Oh, we do have a couple more. Uh, I'm a little bit wary about going through these trees, which is why I'm being a bit patient here. I don't want to get hit by any avtos that are hidden or some resvedka. I don't want to lose my tigers. Uh, we can actually move these guys forwards, though. Let's do that. I guess what I could do is uh, line them up on this side. Oh, those Avtos. Five men. Oh, just gone in an instant. Snap your fingers and they have disappeared. I really expected there to be more SU-85s popping out, but they seem to be using them quite cautiously. Or maybe we've just been killing them and I haven't noticed. Either way, uh, we are going to be looking for a total defeat here. So let's continue pushing. See if we can get this point on the left, maybe. Uh, actually, these unit, these places further up would be better. Because uh, that's where my tanks can just like push through. Uh, let's just select those tigers there. There we go. Push these into the trees. Just to make sure there's nothing there. Great. Well, I left a tiger behind. Have these MGs move forwards, may as well. And we did spot some Resvedka, but they're going to take a lot of shots. And there's also the Gavardia there. Okay, uh, bomber wing, let's just buy the rest of the bombers. And I'm actually just going to bomb this area so that I can move my panzer guns onto that point without having to worry too much. The one with the turret is, okay. I'm just going to have it fly around so that I know which one it is. Comes the bomber wing once again. And these bombing strikes are absolutely awesome, I love them. And the fact that like, in single player you can have so many of them is just ridiculous. Right, we're into phase C, so they are going to have even more reinforcements heading our way. There's only 25 seconds left. I think it's actually a good thing that the, the troops arrived and then they're going to get a total defeat straight away. Because it means that the unit will be routed. Like the unit that's reinforcing in C. Oh, well, that's victory. Too late. All right, 20 minutes and 31 seconds. What do we lose? We lost one Panzergrand to an Avdo. There we go. A successful attack. Let's see what it does to their troops here. 
Ideally, we destroy them, yeah, and kind of sandwich them in here. That's nice. Alright, so we kind of blocked off the bridge. I would like to stop these guys from attacking. So maybe... I was going to say maybe we need to attack them, but we can't. There's nothing here that can attack the 46th Guards Rifle Regiment. Hmm. We're just going to have to dig all of these in for now. Let's just do that. Uh, we'll move them forwards. Dig in for this turn. I suspect they'll probably attack the 2nd Battalion, the 119th. Because they'll be isolated. But we do have plenty of aircraft. Okay, but unfortunately guys, it has been my time. I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode what we'll do is just to have a quick look to see if there's anything else to do along this front line and then we'll move on to the next turn which is in fact the last day uh, we're currently in june 28th pm we have to survive i think until june 29th pm so we're only like two turns off when in the campaign which is pretty good all right that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye